And joining me now is uh, President Mohamedou Buhari's spokesman, Garba Shehu. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Garba Shehu. Thank you, and uh, nice to be with you. Yes. Um, congratulations to everyone, first of all. Uh, it is heartening to see that the president has returned, and this time he's looking um, healthy. Uh, get, bring us up close with um, the president's uh, mood upon arrival. Well, he looked excellent. You know, we were there with him a week ago, and we reported to the country that we, what we saw of him, he looked very good, good enough to continue in office. But then, of course, it was up to the doctor. So we are glad that barely a week after we have left him, the doctors have uh, reached the con same conclusions that we had reached ourselves and that they have certified him okay to come back. So the president looked strong. He looked, he looked, uh, he looked really exceptionally, uh, you know, okay. Interesting. We'll talk about what the doctors are saying uh, a bit later on. But uh, let's talk about the big talking point online and I'm sure you also must have been responding to it on the social media. Uh, there are reports are rife that uh, the president's return has been elicited by the resume or resign protests. What uh, exactly is the position, Mr. Shehu? No, please ignore that. Look, this is a country of 170 million people, which 90, 95% of whom had lined up behind the president in their prayers, in their goodwill, in their good wishes. So who is half a dozen or a dozen, you know, people who have strayed? Please, nobody should take those ones seriously. They have heard, they have, they have just uh, strayed, and, uh, and, and uh, they should just come back and rejoin the effort of society to rebuild. Now, about what the doctors are saying, what are the doctor's recommendations for the president? Specifically now, does he have the strength to carry on with the vigors of office now that he has returned? Well, uh, we haven't spoken to the president about what the doctors have asked him to do or what not to do. And again, the president will decide if he'll be disclosing that to Nigerians. But as individuals, as human beings, as witnesses to this important uh, turn of events today, we saw the president, that's the president we have always known, that's the president we have always seen. In his vigor, in his, in his, he threw banters, joked with everyone around, and, and he looked very lively. So we, we, we got our president back all over again. That's the important thing for Nigerians. Now, Mr. Shehu, the president is a public servant. And, um, you know, there are speculations about what exactly is his health condition, you know, the health condition he's suffering from. Uh, you as his handlers and others, uh, it, will it be, to be in order for you to advise him to disclose uh, his real health condition to Nigerians? It is entirely up to him to decide. Look, this is not a, this is not a requirement of the law of this country. And the country's constitution is very fair to every party in this respect. Fair to the president or any other official, you know, in his position, that they could simply hand over power and go and take care of themselves, which the president did. Others in the past did not want to do this. That's why we got ourselves into trouble. And on the second point then, the constitution is also very fair to Nigerians because it requires that if the president needed to take this kind of vacation, the president can hand over power and to his deputy and proceed. No time limit, it's open-ended. And this is what the law has required, and that's what President Buhari did. Now, how, um, should we expect the president to embark on another medical vacation anytime soon? I have no information on that. I believe that the president, uh, given his nature, would be making a disclosure on this matter. Mr. Garba Shehu, the president's uh, senior spokesperson, we thank you for your time. I thank you. I appreciate it.